In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the sheet bend. The sheet bend is an excellent choice for tying two ropes together of dissimilar size. Instead of the square knot, which is designed for two ropes of the same size, the sheet bend is an excellent choice for tying two ropes of dissimilar size. So what you do is you take the thicker rope and you create a bite at the end of it. And then you take the thinner rope you pass its running end, this end here, up through the bite. Okay, so you've got that, not too bad. And then you wrap the running end around the neck of the thicker rope. So you've got this running end that runs up through the bite here and it passes under. And then what you do is you take this running end and you pass it under the thinner rope, but over the thicker rope. So you can see here what it looks like. And then you begin tightening the running end until it shrinks down and tightens on the line. This is an excellent choice for a free floating knot in space. It does not need to be against anything unlike the square knot that does. Now, let me demonstrate the knot again. I will pull it apart and I will go slowly. So you put the running end up through the bite of the thicker rope, and I'll pull some more slack here this time. And then you wrap it around the tall, thick part of the other rope, and then wrap it under right here under this part of the rope and here. Then you tighten it up and then pull it tight. Now, if you need more security, what you can do is let me get a little bit more slack here. If you need more security in this knot to make sure it stays tight, is what you do is you take the running end of the rope and pass it twice around the thicker rope and you can pass it under here. And now you've got two loops on your rope and you begin dressing the knot. There you go. And that way it will hold fast. Now, if this is a really important line, Make sure you give yourself lots and lots of tail on either end of the running ends because if the rope comes a little bit loose, you want as much tail as possible. If for even criti more critical use, you want to make sure this does not come apart, you can always come here and tie an extra overhand knot. I didn't even give myself enough loop here but you can tie an extra overhand knot to help secure that rope. So that way it does not come apart. If you need something that is life protecting though, this is not the best choice. This is good for general usage, but not life protecting. The double fisherman's knot is the knot to use for that. Again, the sheep bin is a super useful knot for connecting two ropes of dissimilar diameter, this 3 8 inch cord versus this seven millimeter accessory cord. By the way, links below to all these different ropes. And the sheet bin is super excellent for tying these two together. It is super easy to inspect and easy to tell if anything has gone wrong. I talk about that information in my book here. The most crucial knots to know page dum -da -da -dum, 74 and 75. I give a good long explanation of when to use this knot and more importantly, when not to use this knot. The sheet bend is not meant for extending a lifeline where you are literally hanging on the end of a rope. Do not ever use a sheet bend for that. It's just good for general usage. If you need a knot that you're gonna bet your life on, you need the double fisherman's bin and that will keep you alive and safe. 
My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please like and comment this video and subscribe to the channel. And also check out links below to my books with my messed up collar. Antarctic Tears in the description. Antarctic Tears Lost at Windy Corner. Adventure Expedition 1. How to keep your feet warm in the cold. The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide. The most crucial knots to know and my 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as check out my shows Antarctic Tears and World Beyond. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your sheep bending.